Namaste, Sitaram. A pleasant good morning to you on this wonderful Saturday morning. Great having you join us for another segment of Rudraya. Rudraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maharajadev Mandar, located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough. I am your host for Rudraya, Nisha Sharma. I'm sure that many of you had attended Mandar during the past week for the Navratri services. And what a blessed week we had at Maharajadev Mandir. Many devotees actually saw Rudraya and got our address for Maharajadev Mandir and attended our services. So please continue to spread the word to your friends and visit us at the Mandir. We'll now join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for a religious message taken from the golden pages of our holy scriptures. Principal Shri Sita Ramachandra Ki Jai. Shriya Chakti Jagadambe Mata Ki Jai. Dear listeners, dear devotees, once again, it is so fortunate to be here right on this program, Rutraya, to come and share with you the beautiful thoughts itself of Hinduism. That very soon will be celebrated in the auspicious period that we call as Diwali, Dipavali, the row of life. And so, without further ado, without further delay, before we look at the message that I would like to share with you, we offer a prayer towards the Divine. Shri Saraswati Namaha Shri Guru Charanatamalibhyo Namaha Om Vakradhunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Burmi Deva Sarvakari Sarvada Om Sarva Mangala Mangal Yeshive Sarvartha Sadhike Sharanetram Vadigauri Narayani Namos Tudeo Mashanti Shanti Shanti Hari We've just concluded the worship of the Noradri, the nine nights dedicated for the protection, for annihilation of the unrighteous, the protection of the righteous, the virtuous. We have worshipped Divine Mother, Shri Durga, Shri Lakshmi, Shri Saraswati. And I'd like to offer a fervent prayer that glorifies the Divine. Jai Bhairava, Jai Bhairava Deha 
शक्ति जगदम्बे माता की जय आज वी ऑल मेकिंग प्रिपरेशन द सेल्फ टू वर्शिप एंड टू वेलकम द डिवाइन आज श्री माता लक्ष्मी द गॉडेस ऑफ लाइट द गॉडेस ऑफ वर्ल्ड इंडीड व्हाट इज इट दैट ट्रूली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स वर्ल्ड is it perhaps uh, the accumulation that we've accumulated from our jobs uh, working morning till night and so we have built a bank account itself that is so constitute the wealth uh, the divine herself the divine mother lakshmi herself is portrayed in such manner showering coins upon coins upon an individual devotees uh, it is not that you will not shower these coins but it through wealth itself lies from within us the wealth of goodness the wealth of kindness the ancient seers the saint the ones indicate that through wealth itself is when we have our health but when we have our health we can work and we can accumulate that which will take us far that which will sustain us The divine is called as Dhana 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 Lakshmi, meaning she bestows this type of wealth. True wealth, true education is another measure of pure wealth. I am sure that every one of you must know how you will perform your Diwali puja. And if you do not know how to perform your Diwali puja, then we invite you also to come to the Maharudradev Mandir. We will be celebrating the Diwali itself on the 22nd of this month. We'll be having special Mata Lakshmi Puja, and it starts at 7:30 p.m. in the evening. So after you have lit your dias and so forth, and if you are unsure, if you have done your worship proper, then do come and join in with us. Devotees, we have been taught many different ways. Some of us say have been told that we will light five dias, some light seven, some light nine. The idea is that each and the each and every one of these dias themselves, they are very symbolic itself in nature. Five symbolizes the five senses. The seven symbolizes the five senses, the mind and intellect. The nine they indicate for a nine forms of devotion. The nine devis themselves. The devotees, if someone has passed away, then minimum it is said that we will light at least just five. It is not that we will stop our worship to God's God. but will continue to worship god devotees but it is said uh, to share with you some thoughts itself about uh, when we use and this dia what should we use but by all means first and foremost we are supposed to use pure cattle bottle pure ghee so as many of us we cannot get pure ghee so we substitute with oil all of these ingredients that we use in our worship and our puja to light us dear constitutes a most holy blessing constitutes a special merit itself that we can attain and this day this morning i want to tell you a little bit about the 
type of diyas we should use. You know, minimum amount of diya we should use in our worship. And why do we use uh, some oil lamps? Devotees that have said that a minimum we should use is not one, especially for Diwali. Minimum should be two. And so these two are lighted right in front of our image of the Divine. We are first supposed to offer a little prayer to Lord Ganesha, that was Sri Ganesh Ji, that you are the one who removes obstacles. And as you come and remove obstacles, that Lord in our humble prayer. Jai 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 Ganapati Deva So we must start off with a worship and remembrance of the lotus like feet of Shri Ganesh Ji. And so we are told that we will light our lamp after administering a simple prayer. Om Siddhi Buddhi Prade Devi Bhukti Mukti Pradayani Mantra Murti Sada Devi Mahalakshmir Namustute. Very simple method that I'm giving to you devotees. Very simple. When we'll when we chant, chant this mantra in front of Mata Lakshmi, and so we light the lamp. And so the mantra itself goes, Shubham karot kalyanam harogyam sukasampradam mama shatru vinashaya deepa jyotir damostuti. And if you feel that like just chanting it in such manner, you feel that like you are not giving enough devotion, then sing it to Mata. Jaya Lakshmi Namastyastu maha maye shri pite surpujate shanga chakra karaste maha lakshmi ardhamo stute om shanti 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 hi om Bola shri mata lakshmi ki jai A special occasion or make one of your dreams come true then visit La Roya Banquet Hall conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, call now at 905-426-7692 or visit La Roya's website at www.laroya.ca. Electrical and auto body needs, contact Kevin at Final Touch Automotive Body Shop. Located at 32 Bryden Drive in Toronto, Final Touch specializes in collision repair and restoration services for all types of vehicles. With staff of over 25 years of experience, Final Touch Automotive Body Shop is a one-stop shop for all your vehicle needs. Call Kevin now at 416-566-8856 to book an appointment. 
a special invitation to join us on Friday, October 17, for a 21 Bhajan Mala in praises to Mother Lakshmi. There will be renowned singers like Gauri Guha and Ted Singh and many of the youths from Maharujadev Mandir. So come out and celebrate Diwali with us through a 21 Bhajan Mala at Maharujadev Mandir. The season of Diwali is a time for giving and one of the main objectives of Maharujadev Mandir is community service. Service to the community is at the heart of Maharujadev Mandir as we believe that engaging in community service carries rewards far beyond the obvious and tangible. For this reason, Maharujadev Mandir will be hosting uh, an event where we are going to be feeding a shelter. We'll now have one of the youths from Maharujadev Mandir to give you some information regarding the feeding of the shelter. The Maharujra Dave Mandir will be having its first community event where we'll be feeding the residents of Dr. Ra's Healing Place. Dr. Ra's Healing Place is a center for empowerment and healing that works towards the eradication of violence against women and their children locally, nationally, and globally. One of our main objectives of Maharujra Dave Mandir is to work together to provide ways by which the community's spiritual, social, and cultural needs can be met. And this is why we are happy to be partnering with Dr. Ross Healing Center. We have a number of volunteers who are very excited to be involved in this community partnership, where we have an opportunity to make a positive impact to members of our community. Fellow devotees have contributed ingredients for the preparation of food, including donations to purchase items, as well as their time to prepare, deliver, and serve the food. This event will take place on Sunday, October 19th, between 12 to 2 p.m., so if you'd like to contribute in any way to such a worthy cause, please contact us at the Mandir by email, maharujadevmandir at gmail.com or by phone at 647-231-4552. Namaste. Before we go to the health corner of Rudraya, I would like to remind you to join us for a 21 Bajan Mala on Friday, October 17th at the Mandir. Now we will join Dr. Sachin Rampisoon for a health segment. Hello, and thank you for joining us. I am Dr. Sachin Ramkisun, and on today's program, we will be discussing cholesterol and dyslipidemia. This topic is especially important in the South Asian community as it plays an important role in the development of coronary artery disease. Today, we will look at what the dyslipidemias mean, the consequences of high cholesterol levels, and what you can do to help improve your cholesterol profile. The metabolism of cholesterol and lipids in the body involves a complex pathway of many different cholesterol types. The overall concentration of these cholesterol types in the bloodstream is a combination of how much we obtain from our diet and how much is excreted out of our system in combination with how much is produced by our liver. The most important types of lipids to be aware of are the overall triglyceride levels, the LDLs, which is our low density lipoprotein, and the HDL, which is our high-density lip lipoprotein. A high LDL level is a major risk factor for narrowing of the coronary arteries, coronary artery disease, and mort mortality. High triglyceride levels are associated with coronary artery disease in postmenopausal women and also with diabetics. However, higher HDL levels are associated with decreased cardiovascular risk and mortality. HDL can be thought of as the healthy cholesterol. Your physician will tell you what your target levels are and what you should be aiming for. But in general, a low level of LDL and triglycerides, the bad cholesterols, and a high level of HDL, the healthy cholesterol, is desired. This is particularly relevant to the South Asian and West Indian community since studies have shown that our population tends to have higher LDL levels, the bad cholesterol, and lower HDL levels, the good cholesterol. This puts the South Asian and West Indian community at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Routine cho cholesterol profile screening is recommended for men over the age of 40, women over the age of 50, or any postmenopausal women, those with known coronary artery disease, those with other cardiovascular risk factors such as smoking, diabetes, abdominal obesity, or hypertension. You can reduce the levels of the bad cholesterol by decreasing the amount of saturated fats in your diet. 
which typically comes from such foods as hydrogenated oils, butter, animal meats, and cheese. You can also reduce the bad cholesterol by increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables and fiber in your diet. This acts to decrease the absorption of cholesterol in the gut. Regular exercise of 30 to 60 minutes per day can also decrease your total cholesterol levels in addition to weight loss to maintain your ideal body weight. To increase the HDL levels, regular exercise, weight loss, and a glass of red wine once per day has been shown to be effective in increasing the healthy cholesterol. Despite lifestyle changes, many people need medical treatment to maintain their ideal cholesterol profile. This can include medications that decrease the absorption of cholesterol in the gut or reduce the amount of cholesterol that is produced by the liver. It is important that these medications are taken on a regular basis every day in order to be effective in improving your cholesterol profile. The South Asian and West Indian populations are at a higher risk of coronary artery disease just based on genetics alone. And so it is very important that we control our cholesterol levels to reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to our next discussion. A special occasion or make one of your dreams come true? Then visit La Roya Banquet Hall, conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, call now at 905-426-7692 or visit LaRoya's website at www.laroya.ca. For electrical and auto body needs, contact Kevin at Final Touch Automotive Body Shop. Located at 32 Bryden Drive in Toronto, Final Touch specializes in collision repair and restoration services for all types of vehicles. With staff of over 25 years of experience, Final Touch Automotive Body Shop is a one-stop shop for all your vehicle needs. Call Kevin now at 416-566-8856 to book an appointment. Special invitation to join us at the Mandir for a budget night in the worship of Lakshmi Ma. This is going to be held on Friday, October 17th at 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Please join us. If you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in real estate, look no further. Nigel Mohan, the number one sales rep in Toronto. Nigel comes with over 18 years of experience and a proven track record. Nigel offers flexible commission rates for sellers and he is committed to ensuring his clients obtain the highest level of service. Contact Nigel now for a free consultation at 416-587-8638.
Dear viewers, we have come to the end of Rudraya. Would like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharajadev Mandir, as well as our executive producer Gary Khan. Please visit us at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough. A special invitation to join us at the Mandir for 21 Bhajan Mala in adoration to Lakshmi Ma. This will be held on Friday, October 17th, at 7:30 to 9:30. We will be featuring renowned singers like Gauri Guha. Ted Singh, and the youths and elders of Maharujadev Mandir. Diwali will be celebrated with puja and bhajans on Wednesday, October 22nd, from 7.30 to 9 p.m. at the Mandir. For more information, please visit our website at www.maharujadevmandir.com or email us at maharujadevmandir at gmail.com with your comments and feedback. Have a blessed week. Namaste. Do you?